Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Which means that in the Kapapangan dialect, it is no longer Mayap Arbak, it's Mayap Uktu. Interestingly, at least to me, afternoons are divided into two parts. Once we get to four o'clock, it's basically good late afternoon. Mayap Agatpanapun. But we're not there yet, it is just after lunch. Uh, apologies for missing the entire morning. We started off with a bucket load of rain. Uh, not the full blood and thunder Philippines rain, but almost English meh, rain, but it just kept going and going and going. And then had huge problems last night with an upload, so I had to head over to the other house and try and get that working. Oh, enough, let's get on with it. I have not spoken to the engineer. I have no idea what the plan is, so nothing can go wrong. Can it? Before we go inside, something has gone right. Probably only temporarily. The diggerator is working. This was the one area on this wall that was not waterproofed yesterday and it's still not waterproofed. I guess there was no point uh, the guys trying to waterproof this while it was raining. I don't know whether waterproofing material is waterproof in the wet. I'm sure it is when it dries, but up front, no idea. Anyway, uh, no work on this so far today. Well, despite the fact that they didn't finish off that little bit of waterproofing at the back of the house, they have done a fair bit here at the front. Now, I imagine they must have started this mid to late morning because that's when the rain ended. But they've already got through quite a bit of this front wall. The guys just told me that Richard, with his back to us now, uh, has become jealous because he's not been on any of the thumbnails. So look out for Richard on today's thumbnail. Apologies for the tile saw in the background. Uh, still lots of tiles being cut. But here in the spa, Mr. René has done some of the trickier edge pieces and is now right at the edge of, I suppose, what the main part of the spa is, if we consider this bit to be a, a kind of a corridor. Although, there will be something eventually just here. I'm not going to tell you what, you'll have to wait and find out. Tiling in the downstairs hallway, continuing up towards the dirty kitchen. And just over there, Miss Frederick just been cutting one of the trickier tiles to shape to use in the kitchen. Hold on a second and I'll show you where we're up to there. Inside the pantry, Don Don, I can't see around the corner, but I think is very close to finishing all the tiles in there. And then along this end of the kitchen, they have added more, including some, some of the edge pieces. Still quite a big area to go. Take a dizzy pill, because all around over there, you can't see it, take my word for it. And all the way around here, not done yet. So, this is where we're up to, which I think was, these tiles were all done yesterday. This is the door frame for the master bedroom. And it's getting primer paint applied. Uh, it's in the same color as the frame itself, so it won't really show up very well. But that's what I've just been informed it is. And over there, Ernie working on a little bit more still skim coating, I think, up in that upper area around the PVC panels. This is the TV cabinet in Aldrian's bedroom. And we are getting paint on here. Now, I've seen renderings, but I don't think this is the same as the renderings I've seen. So I'm not sure what the final color of this will be. Watch and wait. 
in Sabrina's room, Mr. Willie, still sanding uh, ahead of what I believe will be another skim coat layer. But also in here, the same thing on the TV cabinet for this room. Uh, it, it must only be some kind of primer coat, but it's on its way. And one thing I just noticed myself on one of the videos yesterday, was one or two of the rooms now have these renderings. Once again, I am not sure these are final. In fact, this is not final by any means, and it's the wrong shape for this room. But it, it, I think is there to give just an idea of the general color scheme of the room. The painters have been busy. This is Jack's TV cabinet. Same treatment. And to complete the set, this is the TV cabinet in Alex's room. Exactly the same as all the others. There were two comments from Stephen P. Uh, both expressing withdrawal symptoms. One of them was for drone footage. And I haven't used the drone for a while and I didn't use it really deliberately because I didn't really think there was anything new to show. But what we might be doing possibly this weekend is something a little bit different. Uh, I, I can't guarantee to do it by any means, but I'm gonna try and do something. And if I do that thing, there will be a lot of drone footage in it. Sorry to kind of put a teaser in there, but I don't want to say what I'm thinking of doing because I may not do it. At the other withdrawal he was having was something over here. And there have been one or two others who are equally as crazy as Stephen. Catch basin withdrawal. Stephen, this is for you. It is very nearly 4.30. The bell's about to go. And it's that time of day. Today, we can thank JB from Australia. I am not, however, going to try an Australian accent. But here goes. Two hunters were in the outback and they came across a huge hole. One of them looks into it and says, I can't even see the bottom. That thing is massive. No idea how deep it is. The second one says, I tell you what, I just saw an old gearbox. Let's throw that in and see how long it takes before it hits the bottom. So they go over to the gearbox, pick it up, it's really heavy, haul it over and sling it in the hole. They're just about to peer over the edge when a goat comes hurtling out the bush and dives headfirst into the hole. At that moment, a farmer walks up and says, hey guys, did you see my goat? They said, it's funny you should say that. Just saw a goat came hurtling out the bush at 100 miles an hour and dived headfirst into the hole. The farmer says, no, nah, that's not possible. I had him tied to an old gearbox. Sorry about that, that was a long one, but it's a short video, so we had time. Let's go and see what's going on. Who can resist puppies? The trouble is, they don't stay puppies very long. And then you have things like this big beast. Or Max over there. He doesn't quite know what to make of all these puppies. He's very interested, but then he gets a bit spooked. Let's see what he does. Here we go. Absolutely no idea what to do with puppies. He'd be a hopeless father. We'll start in the spa. Again, it's just the closest. So, uh, Mr. Rene got quite a few more tiles done towards the far end and it does go around the corner a little bit. Uh, I can't go around there to see exactly how far, but I did just peek through the window and there's a few more tiles around that corner. Sabrina's with me and she just said, it looks like a hashtag. I suppose it does, actually. 
In the downstairs hallway, a little more, just going up to the kitchen door. So quite a few fiddly ones there. I don't know if you can make it out, but they have cut them uh, into triangles, effectively, leading from that kitchen door corner, which I think makes it very interesting. I'm not sure they had to do that. I would guess they probably didn't. But I think it does look very nice. In the kitchen itself, that other end over there has, had been done already, but they've started now to extend down this side. And in fact, Don Don and Frederick are still here. They're, they're just finishing off one more tile and then they're heading out. Earlier on today, the engineer did tell me they have still not yet received the additional tiles they need to finish here in the living room. Right, upstairs, we had to come to Sabrina's room first because she's here. And the first thing she said was, ah, oh, they painted the walls, or effectively, they look like they're painted, but it is, I believe, still all skim coat. Having said that, no, it isn't. Because the big paint drums down here are paint. They're not skim coat. So I think that's the first primer on these walls which I believe means this is the first room to get that treatment. Upstairs at least. Yeah, anywhere. This is Jack's room and this seems to be the paint storage room for the moment. Uh, nothing else that I can see that's obvious that's gone on in here, but there is one slightly puzzling item. Take a dizzy pill, here we go. Absolutely no idea what this frame is for. We'll try and find out tomorrow. In the master bedroom, I think Ernie was working on these edges again. So at the moment, it's this kind of light brown color, which we saw in Jack's room, doesn't stay light brown. I'm also wondering whether, just from the smell of the room, maybe up on the ceiling is paint, uh, new paint. Not entirely sure. One thing we do know from looking earlier on, one more dizzy pill, is this door frame did get a coat of primer, and that was, by the way, our fourth painter. And I've not had the opportunity to find out what his name is yet. Uh, assuming he's coming back, I will find out hopefully tomorrow. Here at the front of the house, the waterproofing crew did a lot more both over on the right side. Still, obviously, that outside wall of Sabrina's room, not done yet. And they started moving across towards the south, but still, or the master bedroom, not yet done, but quite a lot more progress elsewhere, all the way across the top of the gas station canopy. So that is the end of the day, uh, abbreviated for us. Not quite sure yet what that means in terms of the length of the video, but certainly a little bit less than yesterday's, which got a bit extended. Uh, nothing brand new that I can see, unless it was painting in Sabrina's room. First prime coat in there. Tomorrow, I'm sure a lot more of the same. If we've got four painters on the job, they'll get moving even faster with more skim coat more painting, more sanding, um, and of course we'll continue to see tiles in the kitchen and in the hallway downstairs and in the spa area. I don't think any of those areas will necessarily get finished tomorrow so we may have to wait a little bit longer to see any tiling upstairs on the floors um, and at the moment we still don't have any final design for the home theatre room. Uh, we don't actually need tiles in there because ultimately that will be carpeted. So I'm not sure yet what that means in terms of the main floor covering. But it's raining again now, so we're going to have to cut this short. It was a good day, even if I missed half of it. See you tomorrow.